Hey everybody, this is my T-Bar Cichlid here in my 55 gallon T-Bar tank, formerly my angelfish tank, and it's been a little while since I put this T-Bar over here in this tank, I don't know how long exactly, it's probably been a few months, and for the longest time he had not really done any remodeling to the tank, and this back corner here was the only place that he had really gotten in there and done any digging. And I'd say within the last four or five days, he has really just settled in and decided he's going to make this tank his home. And if you look around, you can now see quite a few caves and mountains. He likes to pick up the substrate from one spot and deposit it somewhere else. So he's definitely starting to make his presence felt. He's starting to mess the tank up a little bit. If you can see all of the gravel that's on top of the leaves here. I got to be really careful when I get in there to wipe the glass down when I'm doing a water change now because that gravel falls down uh, as I'm you know, moving my hands through there. And then I wind up getting gravel in my uh, little cloth that I'm using to wipe the glass down and that's a good way to scratch your glass. I also have not seen the rubber lip pleco in this tank in, well, I really don't remember how long it's been since I've seen it. I just kind of have been noticing the last several days that I have not seen much of it. I don't really see any scrape marks on the glass anymore. And I'm not sure what's going on with these leaves. I don't know what this really dark brown, gross looking stuff is that's all over these leaves. Um, but at some point, I'm going to get in here and try to just do a little bit of cleaning. I might get like an old toothbrush. Um something like that and we'll see if I can't get in there and just sort of carefully brush a lot of this gross stuff off of these leaves and of course I'm going to also keep my eye open for the uh, rubber lip that was in here and again I just don't really suspect I'm going to find it I don't know what it is with the rubber lips but I just don't have really good luck with them in my water uh, it seems to be hit or miss they either make it and they last for years or they linger for a month or two and then they just fade away and die so I'm not sure what's going on with this um, you know the one that was in this tank I honestly don't even know if it's still in here but I will get in here and start doing some work on this tank here pretty soon I'm just in the process of doing another project right now I've got sort of tanks sitting out in the middle of the room I've got tanks that are kind of under construction I'm gonna be moving filters from one tank to another and so on and so forth so it's gotten a little bit uh, congested here in the fish room and my normal routine of coming down here and tended to business and whatnot has been thrown off uh, I also wanted to point out I'm glad I noticed you see that plant floating up there that used to be planted right there so that's one of the reasons it's tough to have plants in a tank with cichlids it's not so much that this cichlid eats the plants he just uproots them so what I'm probably gonna do is put it back right there lay a fairly large rock you know when I say large rock you know something like a pebble something too big that the uh, t-bar would not be able to pick up and move and I'll be able to go ahead and set the roots down under that and then I can put the substrate back down so if the t-bar comes back and rearranges the furniture again he won't be able to move that plant out of the way and I'll just have to get in there and occasionally sort of make some adjustments every time he gets in there and digs and sort of messes the place up again so that's about it I don't have a whole lot of time to get much done tonight but I did want to get at least a little bit of video and show you that the t-bar tank here has been uh, getting remodeled by the t-bar and now that he's starting to dig we'll have to wait and see what he makes it into because with the other tank he was in he built himself some pretty impressive mounds of uh, sand now this uh, tank doesn't have the depth of substrate the other one did the other one was a real deep bed of sand in it so he was able to really move some stuff around uh, he's already hit the bottom here a couple times in a couple of places so I don't know how much more rearranging we're gonna have done but we'll see oh speak of the devil there's a rubber lip swimming across the back right now so I guess whatever this stuff is isn't something that that rubber lip likes to eat so that definitely cinches it for me I'm gonna have to get in there and do a little bit of a manual brushing and get those leaves as clean as I can get them and I'll do that while I'm doing a water change and then that way I can kind of vac the stuff out of the water right when I'm stirring it up and prevented it you know preventing it from getting reestablished in other places 
So, again, I doubt I'm going to get any of this work accomplished tonight, but I'm going to try to at least get a little something done here in the fish room. Uh, again, it's been a hectic day, and with the room all sort of knocked out of whack, I'm not really sure what I'm going to get accomplished tonight, but we'll see what it is. Anyway, make sure you're subscribed. That way you won't miss anything I got coming up. Uh, as I keep saying, I'm a little discombobulated right now, but that will all be coming together, and there should be exciting new video coming up uh, in the very near future. And I'm actually going to document the process of what I'm doing here in the fish room. My patrons on Patreon actually get to see some behind-the-scenes look and have a little better idea of what I'm doing at the moment. You can go over and check out my Patreon page if you want. And then you too will get access to those exclusive behind-the-scenes videos. Uh, otherwise, it will just be a matter of time before all of this comes out here on my YouTube channel and you'll get to see it regardless. So just be patient. I'm working on it and eventually this is all going to come together for me. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, we're going to have some really good, exciting changes here in the fish room uh, in the very near future. So thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe here to my YouTube channel. That way you won't miss anything I got coming up. Don't forget this one is my T-Bar tank. I'll see you real soon in the next one.